Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Many of you guys have asked me about specialty training in the UK. How easy is it? How competitive is it? And what is the best specialty to apply for? This video is going to be about the competition ratio for different specialties here in the UK. Do bear in mind that this is the competition ratio in England. It does not include Wales and Scotland. If you want to know more about the competition ratio in Wales and Scotland, they have a separate recruitment website and you should be able to find the information you need over there. Before getting into the various specialities, I would just like to mention a little bit about competition ratios. Competition ratio is basically the ratio between the number of applicants to the number of posts available. For example, for core medical training last year, there were 2,455 applicants, but there were only 1,637 posts available. So the competition ratio was 1.5. With the exception of internal medicine training, core surgical training and acute care common STEM, most other specialties are run through programs, which means that you only need to apply once. Once you have received a training number for that specialty, you are all done. You don't have to worry about applying again. It is slightly different for internal medicine training and core surgical training. For internal medicine training and core surgical training, after completing the basic training for two to three years, you will have to apply again for a specialty training program in the respected specialty. For example, if you choose to do internal medicine training, you can apply to one of the medical specialties, respiratory, neurology, cardiology, acute medicine. If you do core surgical training, you can apply to one of the surgical specialties like general surgery, neurosurgery, plastics, urology, orthopedics and trauma. And for acute care common STEM, you can apply for anesthetics, emergency medicine, intensive care medicine, or any of the medical specialities. In the first stages, as you would have predicted, getting into internal medicine training, core surgical training, and general practice is not very competitive. Between the three, core surgical training is probably the most competitive. Okay, I'm not going to let you guys wait any longer. This must come as a surprise to you guys, but the most competitive speciality last year was allergy. I always thought it was going to be plastic surgery or neurosurgery, which is normally the usual suspects, but last year it was actually allergy medicine. It had a competition ratio of 11. The next most competitive is public health ST1 with a competition ratio of 9.67. The third most competitive was community sexual and reproductive health ST1 with a competition ratio of 9.3. This specialty is relatively new, but it seems to be very popular among junior doctors. It had 93 applicants for only 10 allocated posts across England. Okay, now on to the least competitive specialities. These are specialties that had more posts available than applicants. The least most competitive specialty last year was Psychiatry of Learning Disability, ST4, with a competition ratio of 0.35. Next, Genitourinary Medicine, ST3, with a competition ratio of 0.59. And the third, Old Age Psychiatry, ST4, with a competition ratio of 0.79. The most competitive medical specialities after allergy is dermatology with a competition ratio of 3.13 and the least most competitive medical specialty is GUM with a competitive ratio of 0.59. On to the surgical specialities. The most competitive surgical specialty last year was cardiothoracic surgery ST1 with a competition ratio of 8.8 .8. And the least most competitive surgical specialty last year was general and vascular surgery, ST3, with a competition ratio of 1.54. 
that is all for my video today. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any further questions about competition ratio, please leave them in the comments down below. I will leave a link to the full competition ratio table down below so you can check it out too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!